Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So, in this video, it's finally the thing that I was telling you guys about, which was the video I made back in 2021 in December. You know, guys, I was telling you about the problem that I was having with my spark plugs. I was telling you guys about the problems I was having with my boost leaks that I was having with this car. It was a terrible boost leak. I will start off the car and it will start like vibrating, will start shaking so much. The RPMs will start going insane. I was so happy I was able to fix it. I found a way to do it. Uh, I made a video. The reason why I never posted this video was specifically because I didn't like the video video how this came out because it wasn't really that well structured it was just a video i was really done because i don't know i was working with that car for a whole two days and there was a lot of work involved and i didn't really want to film it i fixed the car i detail every single step by step that i did in that video uh, a little background let me turn on the car in the meantime because i had to go to work already turn off this this and that so a little background about the video uh like i said my car was having a horrible boost leak at the time i didn't know what the problem was like i had no idea completely zero clueless on my head i thought it was the boost pipe or one of the c clamps and as you guys are going to see in that video literally right now i was going all over the place with the c clamps maybe an o-ring maybe a boost pipe maybe a charge pipe i'm not going to spoil it for you guys but you guys can see what it is i hope you guys enjoy like i said i'm going to be cutting this video little by little i'm going to be putting uh videos if you see me this sweater is because it's right now and today is uh april 12th 2022 so it's like i want to say three months from that update the car is doing great that was the problem i fixed it so maybe watch the whole video guys check that out maybe that's the problem you guys are having uh they didn't want to turn on story of my life with this car but anyways uh yeah watch the video see if that was a problem you guys are having it might be why am i asked because uh it's not only me the re where i got this was from a forum it is trustworthy most of the times most of the times yeah most of it but yeah guys uh without further ado let's get started and one more thing before we get started with that video thank you so much guys for the support we hit 120 no oh yeah i wish a thousand and 20 subs that's super cool yeah guys if you guys enjoyed this video please do me a favor before you guys start watching this video please just go subscribe to the channel like this video and comment if you guys ever had a boost leak problem how do you fix it and what was the problem thank you guys i'll see you in a little bit yo what is up guys welcome back to a brand new video and in this video we're going to be talking about something and i was not expecting it to happen because i already replaced this parts but in the offering same circumstance that it did happen it gave me a reason to make a video about it in this video guys we're going to be finding out how to discover if you guys have a boost leak so if you guys know i've been replacing my spark plugs in the last video and doing a couple mods that will like increase the life of the engine making it run a little bit better and then remember guys i was telling you in the other video symptoms were hesitation loss of power and also shaking and rough idling most of the symptoms went away but there were some of them that they didn't the car started running perfectly fine in fact after i installed the spark plugs i went for a run and the car ran flawless it was going extremely fast it was going perfectly smooth but what happened the next day problems starting arriving little by little the first thing that is happening remember I had rough idling but the rough idling got worse actually the next day after that i don't know how it got bad after but what i did was the common procedure about finding out tunes and finding out codes in your car is when you guys have a tune in your bmw errors are being blocked not all the times because i've been reading comments that you guys say it doesn't block it all the times but in my case they do so it will not tell me if i have like a big warning in my screen it will not tell me because the thing is blocking it so i spoke to a friend which is my friend brain which is the guy with the 328 he explained to me tune the car back to stock to see if any warnings pop up and in fact they didn't which was oddly weird because if the car is hesitating a lot and the car is having a really rough idle i don't know why it wouldn't show me on the screen if something's wrong but what i did was after i installed the stock tune and re went back to stock completely what i did was to do a read of the codes and there was actually a couple codes that were throwing and let me read you the codes actually so i'm not capping any of you guys so the first code that happened was the code i've been getting for a while now i always thought it was my intake but after the stuff that has been happening i think it might be something else and the first code it is is a 10 20 one it's uh air mass plausibility air mass too high all this time i thought that was my intake because it also is an intake code but it can be a boost leak why am i talking about a boost leak it's because the code that i'm gonna read you right now that it's also getting it's the code ff 
1020. It's commonly referred to as a boost leak code. I read over the forums and people say every time you guys are beginning this code is because there's a boost leak of a broken charge pipe or a boost pipe. Although if you guys know mine are replaced already so it cannot be that. So I was reading in another different thread from a different Beamer post and there was a guy who said one of his O seals, uh, basically the O-rings and also one of the clamps came off causing I want to say a boost leak because it was not well secured. So in this video, it's going to be a series of videos that I'm going to be doing finding out the problem with the BMW because I want to get to the bottom of this problem because I am not rocking with it. I am not fixing this car every single day and buying parts just for the car not to run perfectly smooth. So the car at the moment, I have a stock tune in it. And what I did was I resetted all the adaptations. And what I'm going to be doing right now is identify where the boost leak is coming from. How am I going to be doing that? The first thing I'm going to be doing is take the bumper off, disassemble the inner code, and check my charge pipe because there's a problem i mean if you guys know my charge pipe has it's a silicon material that's in the middle you connecting both pipes uh for some reason that thing has become like a little boob what i mean by a little boob is uh it became not straight so there's like a bump in the middle and i'm going to show you exactly the moment what is the problem so i want to start with that i want to see if the one of the clamps came off if it's not well secure if the o-rings are not well secure because let me show you right now actually let's go to the front of the car all right guys welcome to my engine bay one more time so this is what I'm talking about. My charge pipe is it right there. But if you see, let me see if I can put it in the bottom. I don't know. It's like squished in together. And I don't remember being that squished. I want to also check the sensors right here. Though that one right there. I hope it's focusing. And also the way that it's not completely secured. And I'm also going to be, if you guys see all the way at the bottom right there when I'm pointing. That is also the other end of the charge pipe. So I want to be checking that one out. And at the same time, I'm going to be checking at the bottom right here at the other side of the intercooler it's your boost pipe which is the pipe that connects to the turbo to the intercooler so basically what i'm going to be doing in this video is disassembling those parts like i said after that i disassemble those parts i'm going to be checking for the clamps if they're well secure any screws or bolts that i may coming off and also i'm going to be checking if the o-rings are well secure i'm not going to be doing a whole walkthrough i'm just going to be like a little story time about it and i'm going to be showing you the process what i do it little by little so let's get started with the car like i said i'm not doing every single step but i'm just showing you my process within the day if, it, if i cannot finish it today don't worry i'm going to keep doing it for the following weeks because i want to get to the bottom of the problem with this car finally all right everyone so we actually like i said we're not recording every single thing that we're doing in this video because the charge pipe is a really hard process to take off because there's a lot of things you have to do so we have the bumper off we had to take the intake off in order to make room because the first thing that we talked about was it might be a seal or it might be an o-ring the first thing we did was to take off the intercooler we have it right here and then what we did was take off the clamps and take off basically this line that's been holding this in the process we realized this which is the boost pipe this actually has the seals and everything and this one has the seals but one thing we realized was that the charge pipe there was a light coming in from the charge pipe from one of the holes if you guys know i explained to you in multiple videos about this charge pipe it has i think it's methanol or meth inj injection or something else water injection but you can adapt it to this charge pipe what is the problem it comes with this allen screw right here that i'm showing you guys and there's two and then i realized when my dad when we were doing this every time we're shining a light let me see if i can explain to you guys i'm gonna put it like this right so you guys are seeing everything perfectly fine let me look for the lamp so if you guys see when we came here do you see we were shining this and then we noticed that there's light coming in from the bottom right there and then we we thought about it i was like why is there light coming in from one of the holes of the charge pipe and then like i said i made this charge pipe video like probably like two years ago so i did not remember they came with little holes so these holes are holding by a screw which is an allen key screw and it's not really a screw it's just like a little bolt thing that goes in there and stops the air from coming in but we found out that it's missing it let me show you so if you guys see there's one right there but the other one do you see it's clear do you guys see we came up with that conclusion that that's where the air is coming into because if we blow in it air is coming out so that might be the boost leak that we are might having like i said i'm not completely sure yet but we're still checking out like i said i don't make a charge pipe video because i'm sorry guys but the charge pipe in my opinion is the hardest part to replace in a bmw and whoever tells me it's not i don't know about you man but this this is not fun we're doing progress now which is really cool because at the same time we're able to clean it and adjust any single thing we have remember always to be careful with the sensor because this sensor are like 500 bucks each right now we're trying to find a way how to put something in here that's going to make it cover it one more time so the air is not leaking and the seals are right there if you guys see the seals are fine the o-rings the clamps are also fine we have them right there 
we made progress we found out one of the problems might be if there's another problem we might check it out but in the meantime we we got a solid lead we know there's air coming in from here and air's coming out so it's a boost leak right there all right guys so what you just saw was me and my dad trying to disassemble the whole car the first thing we did was take off the bumper then we took off the intercooler and then we started checking the boost pipe then we started checking the charge pipe and all the clamps all the o-rings and we couldn't find anything because it was all there i know i didn't explain this part completely right but you guys are going to see it in a second if you guys already saw it it's perfectly fine me and my dad were using a flashlight to see if any of the screws were coming off or something and then we realized something uh when my dad was underneath the car he was like looking at, through the charge pipe because he was trying to find the screws that were like holding the silicon part like i said there's two clamps and there's two uh 10 millimeters i think i was flashing a flashlight and when i was going like this just going like all over the pipes he noticed inside the charge pipe there was a light coming in from the end of the charge pipe and we were like he asked me if that it's that's normal and i was like what do you mean normal uh and he told me come here and then he flashed the light and then i saw it and then we we're like oh wow there's a big hole on the charge pipe just filtrating air leaving air so we started like whole like bob the builder trying to pop everything off and then we realized which is what you guys saw and was the one of the screws which is not really a screw i don't even know the name it. it's it's like a plug it's like a screw plug it's really easy it's super cheap the problem is nobody sells it me and my dad went to auto zone uh riley's home depot lowe's harbor fried we went to uh hd supplies basically uh furniture stores too and like a lot of like nail places and we couldn't find it it's so weird because it was so small and like it looks so normal but we couldn't find it for our lives until we went to a truck shop like literally a semi truck the reason we went there was because we were driving and there was a, a sign that said so truck supplies torques and stuff like that and so okay we'll go check it out we pull up we go in there and uh, we told the dude and he said oh yeah i got a lot of them i'll be right back and he literally came back with a box of them guys and it was super cool uh after the whole day we came back we didn't want to work in it because it was really like 4 p.m and it was getting dark yeah that's what you guys saw in the video yeah we found the screw it was 50 cents each so it came out to be like 130 something for because of the tax yeah that was basically a little more explanation so yeah you'll see you guys at the end all right guys so it's day two of the install like i said yesterday we found out that the boost leak was coming from the charge pipe one of the allen key screws fell off me and my dad were checking everywhere when i say everywhere i mean home depot lowe's any auto stores nobody has this harbor fright but we went to this truck shop and look and there you go guys if you guys can see we actually found it we actually bought two because we're gonna buy one for the use and the other one for a replacement they were like a dollar fifty both so it's not really that bad it's really cheap but the problem was nobody has this freaking screw so if you can order apart from vrsf like a replacement that'll be perfect so now that we found out this we hope that this is the problem with the bmw so like i said this is day two so now we're gonna start putting basically back together we actually modify the charge pipe not modified it but make it easier for us to fix in the future by uh switching the clamps and everything so it's everything easier uh we check the boost pipe everything is working perfectly fine so now we're just gonna install this and then i'll keep you updated on the progress hopefully this is it and the car's running perfectly fine and yeah guys that's it like i said it was not the really well structured video it was just like kind of over the place like we fixed the problem and i'm glad to tell you guys after that we fixed that little screw the car was doing falls and ever this is three months updates from now look there's no check engine light everything's working flawless i turn on the car there's nothing sometimes i do hear like a little like i want to say rpm jump i still don't know what that is it might be the spark plugs they're too cold and the weather's like 65 right now uh but i'm not sure but it's not a big problem uh i don't really have a big thing with that right now but yeah um after that we fixed everything never gave us a problem whatsoever check that out guys maybe that's your problem maybe it's not but maybe it's like related with it yeah guys without no further ado let me finish this video right here thank you guys so much for wants to stick to through the whole video watching this you guys are the real ones uh i appreciate you guys every single one of you guys so subscribe to the channel for more content like this let me know if you guys are enjoying this type of content or you guys like more like reviews or if you guys like more like stuff that we want me to try out new mods and stuff like that but yeah like the video subscribe to your channel comment if you guys are how to boot sleek or whatever you guys want to see next and that's gonna be it guys thank you so much have a nice day enjoy